Uh, when you're measuring the baby, of course, every parent is really important. It's really important to them to know whether their baby is um, 22 inches or 20 inches. I mean, that's a really important statistic that people want to know. But you also need to know that because the next time the baby is seen, he'll have to be measured again. So your measurement has to be accurate and you have to be able to weigh them so that this, when they're weighed again the next time, you will know that the baby is growing and is also gaining weight because um, some babies don't thrive on a particular formula. And it's very important that you know what the birth weight and the length was and also the circumference of the head. We learned that the circumference of the head and the circumference of the chest is about the same. And if a baby has a very small head, there could be some problems. So you need to recognize that this is very small and, and there's some, there could possibly be something wrong here. Accuracy is vitally important when it comes to the kinds of measurements used in the healthcare industry. In medications, just, you know, one or two more cc's than the patient is supposed to have could be lethal for that patient. And uh, you really should know that if 10 cc's is ordered, that's what you give, 10 cc's. You don't give 10 and a half or 11 cc's. And sometimes it's necessary to have that checked with another RN just to make sure that you uh, aren't seeing something wrong or that your glasses aren't foggy or something like that. <laughs> Correctly taking and recording measurements must be standard medical practice. So maybe it's time for a little practice of our own. Straight lines or soft, round heads, liquid substances, or dry. There are almost as many ways to measure things as there are things to measure. Some are even equivalent or equal to each other. One cup is the same as eight fluid ounces. One pint is two cups, or 16 fluid ounces. And one quart equals two pints, which also equals 32 fluid ounces. Converting from one unit of measurement to another is a regular part of a health professional's workday. There are certain medications that you have to have checked, um, say anticoagulants coagulants and insulin. Those things have to be checked by two RNs to make sure that you have made your computations uh, correctly. And like we have a patient here right now that's on 265 units of insulin, which is a lot of insulin, and it's a mixed dose, and you can't give the insulin, insulin syringes are one cc, one milliliter syringes and you have to make sure that uh, you have 265 units divided up enough so that you can give them all. You can't give 265 units, which is more than three cc, about three cc's in one spot. So you have to figure out how you're gonna divide this up and mix it up, and it, that takes addition and subtraction and uh, division in order to get that done. Here's a tip. To change a larger unit of measurement to a smaller, multiply. There will be more smaller units in your answer.